Hey everyone, welcome back for another video. Today we're gonna to be doing a wonky block tutorial with inspiration from Bernie Sanders mittens. Yes, you heard that correctly. We are gonna be using a quilt block tutorial to recreate the color and pattern that was on those adorable mittens that Bernie Sanders wore on inauguration day. Now you don't have to just use these blocks in a quilt. There's a lot of other patterns that you can use these blocks for. And I actually have a project in mind with a free pattern that I'm going to be filming here next. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. So to get started with our wonky block construction, you're gonna to wanna to have an iron that is turned on. You're gonna need a ruler and a rotary cutter and a cutting mat. And then for today's tutorial, I'm gonna be using this fun quilt in a day ruler by Eleanor Burns. It has these slits in it that are all numbered for easy and accurate cutting. So before we get started with our block construction, you're gonna to need to select your fabrics that you want to use in your block. So I started off by going to Google and just Googled Bernie Sanders mittens, and I pulled the colors from the mittens to try and mimic that pattern as best I could. So you're gonna start off with your fabric strips the same way you do as a basic log cabin. You'll cut your strips two and a half inches wide. So you'll start off by sewing your center strip of fabric right sides together with your strip of first light. Using a quarter inch seam allowance, you'll sew all the way down the side. Once you have your two pieces sewn together, again, this is your center and your first light fabric, you'll fold them back together like this. You'll head over to your cutting mat and you're gonna cut these two and a half inches wide. So here's what your pieces should look like when they're cut. Open it up and you have your first light sewn to your center fabric. Again, making sure your iron's on. You want to give your pieces all a press. Grab those blocks that you just pieced and taking this first light fabric here at the top, you're gonna lay that right sides together along that strip. You can pin these in place if you want to. Again, right sides together once these have all been pressed open. Once you have these on your strip of your first light fabric, you're gonna stitch these together. All right, so I've now finished stitching my second strip of first light fabric to my center block. So you'll fold this back up, give it a trim, and we're gonna press. So grab a strip of your first dark fabric, whatever you've decided to use, and you're gonna repeat that same step. Lay your fabric up on your sewing table. You're gonna take this piece that you just added here long ways, turn it over so the pieces will be right sides together. Lay this down on that strip of your first dark fabric. And again, using that quarter inch seam, stitch these pieces together. So here's what you should have. So go ahead and fold that up. Trim off any excess fabrics on the side here. You're gonna to wanna to press your block open and I'll show you how to use the wonky ruler. So once you have your first two colors added, your first light and your first dark fabric and your block is perfectly square, this is when you're gonna introduce the wonky ruler. So let me show you how to use it. It's super simple, don't feel intimidated, just take it step by step. So a couple things that I wanna mention with this ruler here is you'll notice that when you get it, it says front as well as back is printed on it. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that if you have it with the word front facing upwards, your block is gonna spin or have a spin to it in a counterclockwise motion. If the word back is facing up, so it's legible, your block is gonna spin in a clockwise motion. So either way you choose is just fine. Just make sure that you keep the same side of the ruler facing up throughout all of your blocks. This will keep them consistent. So line up your block so the bottom edge and or the top edge is laying against one of those lines on your cutting mat. This is again gonna keep everything nice and straight. So grab your wonky ruler and again, using either the back or the front of the ruler, you'll find the square in the center of your ruler like this, and you're gonna line up this square 
on the square in the center of your block. So as you can kind of see, my ruler is turned at an angle and my cutting mat is straight. That's okay. The important thing is to make sure you're lining up this square on this ruler with the square that's on your fabric. Line that up, take your rotary cutter, and you're gonna start by cutting in the number one slot. So very carefully, take that blade on your rotary cutter and you're gonna slip that into the slot that's on your ruler marked number one and cut. Keep the pressure on your ruler so your fabric doesn't shift. Go to the other side and also cut where it says number one. Then you're gonna carefully lift your ruler and rotate 90 degrees. Again, making sure that the square on your ruler lines up with the square on your block. And again, you're going to insert your rotary blade into the number one and cut. Carefully pull that out, go to the other side, find the number one and cut again. Lift up your ruler, remove the excess fabric. And here is the start of your wonky block. So now take a strip of your second light fabric. You're going to take the last block that you added here, leaving that at the top, facing them right sides together on that strip, and sew. Once you've attached that piece of your second light fabric, go ahead and trim and give it a press. Now grab a second strip of that second light fabric, again with that piece you just added at the top, right sides together. You're going to stitch these two pieces together. So once you've added that second strip of your second light fabric, you've trimmed it and pressed it, here's what your block should look like. Now it's time to add our second dark fabric before we introduce the wonky ruler again. So take a strip of that fabric that you're going to be using for your second dark. Leaving the strip that you previously added at the top, turn it over so they're right sides together and you'll go ahead and stitch these two together. So now here's our block with the first strip of our second dark fabric. Now grab a second strip of your second dark fabric and repeat. Lay it down, keeping the previously added strip at the top. Turn it over so they're right sides together and stitch. Now we're going to repeat that step of trimming and pressing. So one thing you'll notice when using the wonky ruler is your block should be perfectly square before you're getting ready to actually use it. So here I added my first strip of second light, my second strip of second light, my first strip of my second dark, and my second strip of my second dark. My block is perfectly square and now it's time to use my wonky ruler again. Following the same steps that we did before, take the square that's on your ruler and line it up with the square inside your block. Put some pressure on the center of your ruler here. Take that blade, put it in the number two spot and carefully cut. Keeping pressure on the center of that ruler so your fabric doesn't shift. Go to the other side and repeat. Carefully lift up that ruler, rotate 90 degrees, find your center, and you're going to cut again. Normally I would just use my regular cutting mat, but for the purposes of filming this video and making it easier on myself, I'm using my rotating one, which is super handy for cutting quilt blocks. Now it's time to add your third light fabric. So grab one strip of that, again, with it facing up on your sewing surface. Find the piece that you just added last, which will be the longest piece of your dark fabric. Face that right sides facing down along that edge of that strip. Line it up and stitch. So we're back over at our cutting mat. We've stitched that piece down. Go ahead and trim up your block and press.
grab a second strip of your third light fabric, lay it down, that piece along the top edge, right sides together, and stitch. Now it's time to add our last fabric, which is our third dark. So when my block is complete, I like to give it a final press. So that way they're ready to be used either in a quilt or a project. So that's all there is to making these really fun and simple wonky log cabin blocks. Again, this one is inspired by Bernie Sanders mittens based on the colors that I used. Finished block measures 10 inches by 10 inches square. If you did wanna add one more row of darks on both sides followed by lights on the other side and trim again so you have a larger block, you can do that. The ruler does, um, I think, accommodate sizes up to, I believe it's a 14 inch finished block. So that's it for this tutorial today, learning how to make our wonky blocks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned because I do have a pattern coming up that's gonna be completely free for subscribers, um, learning how to utilize the blocks that we made today for a fun wearable project. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and stick around for more videos like this or give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.